between this and X, it looks like it's A24 that's bringing the slasher movies back. I did love X, so let's see what I think of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. This is a film that is partly like if Black Christmas 2019 had an ounce of self-awareness, and also partly characters from a Harmony Korine film dropped into a slasher story. The movie is about these 20-somethings who come together for a house party during a hurricane, and then they decide to get drunk and play bodies, 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 only there may be a real killer in the house. It is a gritty looking movie, but as you can tell, it's also a super dark comedy, and the level of satire in it comes from its characters. These people are so shitty to each other, their game even involves just slapping each other in the face. They're the type that probably thinks they're the best, most loving person in the world, but in reality are vindictive, self-righteous, dishonest, and narcissistic shitbags. Whether it's before the killing start or after, they'll be arguing over the most inconsequential, petty bullshit. That there could be a dead body on the ground and they'll still be trying to out-ally each other. Or they'll sneak off to do a line of cocaine or give each other drugs. For me, the movie really, really works. Yes, it's one where the entire point is that the characters are this obnoxious and that some are idiots. But with the themes it has going on and the story as a whole, it couldn't exist without them just being awful to each other. So I get it if you still leave the movie and are like, yeah, I know that's the point, but I couldn't stand it. There's movies I'm like that with. I feel that way about some Eli Roth movies. But here, I didn't mind spending a movie with these people. What makes it work is that, yes, they're saying all the buzzwords you expect them to say, and their arguments sound like Twitter arguments, but again, the movie is fully aware of that, so it does an excellent job at making them not just two-dimensional caricatures. They do feel like real people, albeit shitty people, but still real people. Also, it is nice that they don't make all of them unlikable. The newcomer to this friend group is Maria Bakalova of Borat 2. And my god, do you have some empathy for this person. There's a lot of scenes where I was rooting for her. Pete Davidson has some funny lines, and Lee Pace is excellent here as a dude who constantly doesn't know if the others are just screwing with him. All around the acting is solid. If a character is meant to be obnoxious, they go for it and they make it work. If I had any criticisms towards it, there are a handful of scenes that feel like they go on a little too long and could be trimmed and tightened here and there. They'll still be arguing and I'll be like, okay, I think we've gotten the point of this scene a few minutes ago. But other than that, I had a good time with this. I'll give it a B plus. It was a fun way to end my double feature that started out with the Bollywood remake of Forrest Gump. What a bizarre day in the theater that was. Thanks for watching, everyone. We still got a review of Fall coming up, so we'll see you then.